and welcome back to episode 33 of the conversion of lifeboat Huga. Today we're looking at um, a part of the boat we haven't been looking at at all much really and that's the engine. Hope you enjoy. So today we're having a look at the engine. Well, there's a lot to see at the moment with this hatch on. Um, I've taken my engine hatch off just standing there I gave that a coat of primer yesterday evening you can see it's quite big it lives in that space and the idea is to cut it into three pieces put some in, um, piano hinges on them so I can open the front and the back and get to the engine so this is the engine without the hatch on it it's um, Steyr it's 140 horse, some turbocharged, four cylinder, um, and it's a lovely unit, really. Um, I, I took the old engine box off, as uh, that was much higher than this one is now. Because as you can see from the inside, that's the floor, one step up onto the engine hatch and then one step out. And it was about three steps to go up and over. Um, it's lower because it had a lot of space on top of the engines. On the engine and um, um, I raised the floor for the cockpit to make it self-draining. So that's how I got away with not as much of a step. It's um, water cooled exhaust. Um, that's the filter for the inlet for the raw water for the seawater. That's the heat exchanger. That's the fuel pump, oil, top of the engine. That's where the cooling water goes. I've got two, um, I'm not sure what the proper name is for them. But they regulate the charging of the batteries as I've got two battery banks at the moment one for the engine starter and one for the bow thruster the gearbox is there which also has a dipstick as you can tell and then the prop shaft goes out of the boat onto the prop and that's um, the engine really there's a um, stainless steel fuel tank, which is just underneath those floorboards. You might have seen that in previous episodes as I was putting the gauge in there for it. I've got the gauge in the helm seat. It's not actually connected at the moment, but I know it's uh, more than a quarter full. And um, yeah, I'll be doing that today. So I've got undrilled inch wide piano hinge to go into the hatch. I've offset the screws so if you open it completely the screw heads don't end up on each other which means you can't really open it completely. So drilling holes and um, the trick with drilling stainless steel is to go nice and slow. Don't burn the end of your drill bit. Oops. Um, and um, if it was thicker material, I would use some cutting fluid, some cutting oil. But this is not too bad. Uh, nice and slow, sharp drill bit. And then uh, you'll get through it. So when I've cut all these holes, I'll uh, be putting it in the engine hatch. There we go. That's one hole done. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 more to go. I'll see you on the other end of this. First bit of the um, hatch is done. Still need to do the other third of it but like everything on a boat it takes a lot longer than you think but you can get a good idea of what the plan is piano hinges in screwed down 
and then the back end will lift up so I can get to the water filter and the little oil reservoir there which is for the um, lubrication of the prop shaft um, and the same for the forward hatch will be uh, the lid to get to the oil and the coolant and then if needs be I can pull the whole thing out um, it's another bit of hatch drying there because I want to paint everything and they will need a couple of more ribs as um, the 18mm ply is quite flexy underfoot which is not ideal 